Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick look today at the next kit in the um, in the line. Um, those of you who have been watching what I've been up to uh, with the TSR2 will know that it's not quite finished yet. I'm actually waiting for some grey Mr. Surfacer primer on that, but I'll tell you another story about that later. Um, I want to show you this uh, kit that I've had hanging around uh, for some time. In fact, I forgot I had it and then came across it in the garage and thought that'd be a good idea to build that. Um, and I acquired it some years ago, about 10 years ago, I would think, something like that, for about five quid, um, on the idea that I might perhaps at some stage start building scale models again, which I then started about two and a half or so years ago, something like that. So um, I'll do a little show and tell on this, um, unboxing, sprue review, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and just show you where I'm going with it as well. Um, just show you one or two things because it's I have started to work on this a little bit. But as as you look at the the um, sprues and, and the so on, you'll see that it's uh, not all that detailed. So it's a 172 scale uh, Folland Nat. Um, nice little box art there. And as you'll see, it's really really quick and simple. Um, there are only four steps here in terms of the of the kit build probably something you get put together in half an afternoon I would suspect um, and then you've got the choices of the um, little Rissington uh, Nat for the red arrows or the Yellow Jacks aerobatic team uh, from 64. I'm going to go for the red uh, colour there um, and um, I'm also going to see if we can make some modifications on this kit as well um, in some small way uh, because as you'll probably see when we when we call out the sprues it's really not that detailed. In fact, you can see this really in the pictures just now. Um, you know, there's a ejection seat, one pilot, no real um, detailing in the cockpit at all. Um, and I'll see if I can add something into that. That might be possible to do uh, before I put that together, but that's going to need priming on the inside and so on. Having had a look at the seats, they need some work because there are some sink marks in, in the seat backs, which um, the eagle-eyed will always spot, I have found, so uh, we'll go with that. So we'll put that away for now um, and then show you the sprues. Now, the sprues, as you'll know, will come in a bag and when I opened this up initially, what I did was took the sprues out of the bag and then put the, um, the glass, the, the, uh, the decal sheet and the um, canopy which is all one piece, as you can see, um, into the bag. The decals are in pretty good condition, it must be said. I think they're reasonably in good order. Um, you know, they, they look okay. Um, there won't be any problems there. I can, I can make something up from them. Uh, and the, um, the glass canopy will need a little bit of a clean-up, I think, um, to be perfectly truthful. But um, the real challenge is going to be masking it properly because it is quite small. So I'll put that in there and keep that out of the way. Now the rest of the of, of the sprues, really very, very simple as you can see. Um, two sides, um, two wing uppers and lowers there. And then we'll put those back in there. And then um, you've got two other sprues with uh, nose wheels and um, main undercarriage. Uh, the um, well, the pilot there, as you can see, is quite a lot of flash um, emerging from his backside there. Um, I'm sure he wouldn't fit in the aircraft like that. Anyway, be that as it may, uh, those are the side panels for all the cheek panels for the air intakes. Um, and there's a pitot head, uh, undercarriage doors there and undercarriage there. There's a fair amount of flash on these, which is going to need to be cleaned off. In fact, I can show you an example of that there. If we just, can we get that to focus? Maybe we can get that to focus. Oh, there we go. Look, that works. I oh, know it's decided not to, but you can see the flash on there. That's going to need to be carefully cleared away. Um, but uh, I think once the preparation work is done, we're, um, we'll be well on the way. Um, and um, the other thing, as I say, I've started to do here is to, um, Let's see if we can, there we go. So those are the um, the two seats, not at all detailed. So I've added in already, well, what's, why has that gone out of focus there? Not quite clear on why that's happened. Let's, let's hold it far away and then zoom in on it. Maybe that'll work better. Oh, there you go, look. There we go. 
maybe you can see that okay. There's some trouble with the camera tonight. Let's move that so you can possibly. So what I've done is I've used some lead wire, 0.2 millimeter lead wire. I think that should be okay to put some uh, ejection seat pull handles in there. And uh, obviously we have the sink mark um, in in here, which I've covered with some um, Mr. Hobby dissolved cement. And also I've just dropped a little bit of dissolved cement onto these seats here just to give them a bit of a texture um, and again the eagle-eyed will see that I'm gonna have a crack at putting some seat belts in um, and we'll have a go with that as well so um, a very small little kit hopefully get it done by Christmas and um, we'll be able to um, take you through that as we do it what I'll do is I'll do another video which will be a little bit longer of essentially the assembly um, and I'm I'm going to prime on the inside here and then paint um, a colour there so I can just basically close that up with the seats in it and then start to build it along and see if we can eliminate some seam marks and things of this kind we're bound to get them uh, because this is a fairly elderly kit so that will be the um, that will be the extent of the of the build I would think it's not going to take very long at all should be a bit of fun, a bit of um, uh, additional um, fun before Christmas. <clears throat> and when I've done it, what I'll do is I'll, excuse me for a minute. <coughs> what I'll do is, um, as, is, as I've always said, it's always live. Don't edit anything. Um, I'll probably put that next door to my XB70 172 scale model. And then you can see the difference in size between the pair of them. I'll do a little photograph of that with, you know, with... Uh, um with the two together when it's done um so uh that's the um shall we say the preview of forthcoming attractions as it were um i'm as i say for the tsr2 i'm waiting on the um uh, mr surfacer um gray primer uh, and i'm going to prime in gray so that essentially so that i can see where i've primed i'm not very good with an airbrush and i hope to get better at it to be perfectly truthful with you uh, and um, we'll um, we'll see where that goes, but I'll keep you in the picture with that. I'm going to do a video with some airbrushing. It'll be probably quite a short one and a little talk through um, and showing you what I'm doing because there are some other bits and pieces. But that is that for today. That's my next project, the Red Arrows Mat. So there we go. Thanks very much, everyone. See you soon.